Amigos de Inspiratrix, estamos en la Feria Internacional del Libro de Guadalajara. Ya sé que ustedes están viendo esto después, pero tenemos el gusto de platicar con una persona que ha marcado la presencia de la Unión Europea. Aquí es uno de los autores más destacados porque presentó tanto una película como un libro que son pues, historias que ahora se pueden ver y leer en español. Es Angelo Tessens, quien presentó Close, una película que está en plataformas en redes eh, sociales, ha sido muy comentada porque es la historia de, si a ustedes les gustó Hardstopper, pues Close les va a encantar y es una historia que ha sido nominada al Oscar y esta misma película hizo que nuestro invitado del día de hoy recibiera 10 minutos de aplausos en el Festival de Cannes por el guión tan hermoso de esta película que si no han visto, de verdad la tienen que ver ustedes. Y aparte está presentando este libro que se llama Los Bordes, aquí en la Feria Internacional del Libro, así que es un gran, gran honor platicar con Angelo Tessens. Welcome to Here Inspiratrix. Thank you, thank you so much. And, bueno, eh, a ver, yo había pensado hacer esta entrevista con las preguntas en español y eh, pasarle a Angelo eh, la, la traducción para que nos la hiciera en, en inglés, pero como escuché una canción recientemente que dice que el único sentido que queda por perder es el del ridículo, voy a intentar hacer la entrevista en Bad English y si no, pues hacemos una Bad Traduction y se acabó. So, yes. in English. In English. I try. That's good. ¿Va? Is this your first time in Mexico? It's my very first time in Mexico, yes. Yes, although I haven't seen a lot of Mexico yet. I've mostly seen two airports. Yeah. Uh, one busy road where there's always a traffic jam, uh, my hotel, uh -huh. and the expo here. So that's this most of what I've been doing. This is no, no, more for, uh, no more Mexico for you? I've seen one museum. Mm -hmm. um, I've had plenty of tacos. Yeah. Uh, and, and quite ah, a lot of mezcal. Uh -huh. So I have a feeling I, I have been in Mexico, but mm -hmm. I've I haven't really seen it. And, and you listen mariachi? Uh, yeah, I, I think there was even a mariachi band somewhere in the in the uh, one of the book stands um, had a little party. Ah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. With with the, the uh, yeah, 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 the, 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 the party of the, the, the best The very best, uh, the best great stand. Stands. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I yeah. saw it. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's sad. This is not Mexico. No, I can imagine. <laughs> no, we also in Belgium. We also have a book fair, and I, I yeah. would be, if people would come to that book fair and think that that was Belgium, I would be offended. Exactly. Uh, yes. So <laughs> I'm really well aware that this is not represent a representation of your country, yeah. but it is a very, very beautiful place to be. Yeah. Um, it, it being surrounded by books and a lot of other writers from all over the world and getting to meet people and talk about stories is a, a privilege, I must say. Yeah, it's a great Babel here, right? Yes. And uh, I, I, I have three questions. Go. That all the people around the world have to you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What do you feel about the nomination of the Oscar? Oh, that seems so long ago already. So uh, long ago? Yeah, it was, it was, it was in the beginning of this year. Um, it, it was incredible, of course. It, it's, a, it's like a childhood dream. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, it, it, it suddenly, of course, it's a trajectory the film premiered in Cannes and then It went on and on and on, and you, you, you seem to get closer and closer to this, and then suddenly there's a nomination, and suddenly we were all together in, in, in Los Angeles, and, and yeah. it, it was it was it was wonderful, it was unbelievable, but even more important, because of that nomination, a lot more people got to see the film. Exactly, and that, of course, for me, is the most important part that we yeah. can share our work uh, with as many people as possible. Yeah. Uh, with the streaming platforms, right? Yes, there was a. It was in cinemas. It was in I cinemas. Think in, in movie. Uh, movie did it here in, in Mexico. Yeah, at the Cineteca. Yes. yes. Oh, I mean, movie are. They take such good care of cinema, both new cinema and and older films. Um, they they really, yeah, they take care of cinema, which is important. Yeah, uh, it's a great story, 
a beautiful story and so tenderness yeah. story. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, maybe for this, the people connected with the film. I, I think, or I, I feel, I hope, mm. that this is exactly indeed what we did, that we, we told a very small personal story and then tried to find a way to make it to make it universal, to make it resonate with, with other people, so that it's not just relevant for the two Belgian guys who wrote it, but for yeah. people all over the world from all ages. And, and that is, I think, as an artist, what you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. it's, it's great. Uh, and this is not a gay movie. No. It's a love movie. Yes. Yeah. And all the people, uh, the three heterosexual people in the world, connected with the movie uh, yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> all three of them um, no we, because we 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 all had friends or we've we've all felt lonely yeah. we we all lost someone in some way or another mm. we've all pushed someone away and and regretted it we've all been to school we've all felt vulnerable we all pretended to be bigger than we were I mean those are really very international and and interhuman feelings yeah. um, that that we we all share and that we should all talk about and think about mm -hmm. uh, the people in Cannes yeah uh, stand up and yeah they, they give us a long standing ovation, 10 minutes yes. for you yes what well, that that is a, a bit of a, a typical Cannes ritual where people just keep on doing that it's wonderful to be there but it's also really weird. Like after four, five, six minutes, you think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One more. That one was more, that was more, that was that was more. really kind. <laughs> Thank you. I would really like some champagne now. Uh, but but it's it's beautiful, of course, and it's it's a token of appreciation. Um, uh, but it is very typical for that festival. It is a they they like to do that. Yeah. yeah. Typical, right? They like records. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Talk me about girl. Um, yeah, that's girl is where it all started for for Lucas and I. That's the first time we worked together. Yeah. Um, we worked on that film for three years, I think, uh, just the, the writing of the screenplay, because mm -hmm. uh, it was based on on uh, a trans ballerina's real story, um, Nora Monsecourt. and then we took it from there and started building and 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 really transforming the story into cinema. Mm. Um, but the, the nice thing was back then we had no idea. No one was waiting for us. Um, no one knew we were making this film. So we had this almost luxurious position that we've never had since. Mm. Um, we, get to, we got to just talk and work and learn our craft. Mm. Um, and then suddenly the film was ready. Well, not suddenly, it took a lot of work. Uh, but then it premiered in Cannes, and then an award, and then another one, and then then we won the Camera d'Or, and then it really it became much bigger than we could ever imagine that it would be. Um, but again, there this, the same thing, trying to tell a small story to a, a broad audience um, was yeah our our main goal. Yeah, girl, uh, open the the doors for close. Um, yes. Definitely, yeah. But that's how it always goes. The first thing, if the first thing works, then you get to make a second one. And now the second one works, so you get to make a third one. That is, that's how it goes, of course. And so you have the third. Yes, yes. Lucas and I are, again, slowly, we're taking our time and, and we're working, yeah. So you can talk about in secret of the three project yeah with Lucas no <laughs> oh no. in secret no 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 there's no nobody uh, see this nobody sees this uh, nobody will hear this uh. no uh, well it's um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no excellent yeah well but uh, the three the, the third film mm -hmm. it's a re real future. You you you, uh, you work in, in, in We're here. We're working, um, and like like we've done with the previous two, it'll be ready when it's ready. Mm. We we have no deadlines. Oh. We work hard, but the only people who can rush us are the two of us. Mm. And so, 
Los bordes. Yes. Eh, ahora se presenta en español. It's, it's your first eh, book. My first novel, yes. Novel, yeah. yeah. So now it's in Spanish. Yes. But it's your first uh, work in, in, in the book. Yes, it's my very first book, yes. Mm. Yeah. And what do you uh, tell about the bordes? Los bordes. Um, it's. Um, It almost happened by accident. I, I always write a lot um, when we're working on a film or I have an idea for something else. And, and I, I was writing this story, which is pretty autobiographical um, in its core. Um, and I started writing uh, and I felt that it wouldn't work as a film, um, that I needed something else, that I needed to be able to uh, write about memory, about thinking, about feeling, about um, Uh, sensations of, of, of skin and smells and all those things that you can't do in cinema because there yeah. is no smell in exactly. cinema. Yeah. Um, and and so the what I wanted to tell almost forced me in the direction of literature and that's the result of this oh, um, journey basically. Yeah. Oh. It's um it's a love story. It's a the guy who goes back to the, the place where he grew up after his mother died. Um, um, and he meets his first big love again. They see each other after many years of absence. Um, and the whole story is interwoven with, with flashbacks, to say it in film terms, um, as he looks back on his, his childhood there. Oh. Um, so it's, it's really, it's a book about, again, and a lot of the themes that I've written about and for, for cinema as well. It's about, it's about intimacy, it's about love, it's about friendship. Um, it's about the way we look at each other, the way we look at ourselves and, and how the world perceives us. Um, and this is your first uh, book in Spanish? It's, it's my first book ever. Ah. <laughs> and it's the, it's the first translation in Spanish, yes. Ah, It has absolutely. been translated in, in French and uh, soon in German and English and now in, in, in Spanish. So yeah. a girl in close, uh, no, uh, it's not in, in book? Uh, no, no, no. It, it, it's, it's just the the script. Yeah, but the script doesn't exist. No, no, because the no, just like the the costumes don't exist or oh. the sets. The a screenplay for us is something is a tool, something that we use to uh -huh. make a film, but um, they've never been printed or or we haven't made any books uh, on the film. No, yet. I, I like yet. that. No, I, I I like that separation. Yeah, like this for example. Mm. Um, in my contract with the publisher, yeah. it clearly says there are no film no rights. Film. Oh, no! It's it's it has to be this. It it has to be that exact thing. Yeah. Yeah. So if you im imagine this, the history for movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I uh, autorizo. Oh, I yeah. But if you just imagine for a script, just for a script. No adaptations, no, no theater, no, no, nothing. Just no? script. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah, because for example, this because I, I I said there are flashbacks and you travel through time. Mm. That would mean that I would need two actors, mm. a young version and an older version, and it just doesn't make any sense. Like in in the book, they they're the same character. You you grow older with him, or you look back at his childhood. Mm -hmm. They're the same person. It's the same feeling. In, in, in the movies, no. It's And not in movies, possible. you would need two actors. Yeah. 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 And I don't want two actors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Uh, I, I have Hal Stopper here. Yes. And many people asso associate Hal Stopper with clothes. What do you think? Uh, I, I consider that a massive compliment. Um, I think one of the reasons why 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 we we wanted to tell close why I wanted to write this book is because I felt there's um there's an absence of of a certain type of story. Um, I didn't grow up with stories about exactly. friendship, about kindness. When I saw queer people in 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 television or 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 in films, they were dying of AIDS. They were being killed yeah. by bigots. Yeah. Or they were. Uh, drag queens that were just there to entertain us. Yeah, yeah. It Too much drama, right? Yes. Um, and it's good. I mean, those stories need to be told, but there are so many other stories that need to be told. 
uh, stories about intimacy, about friendship, and indeed, like Heartstopper, a simple story about two guys falling in love in high school. Exactly. It's it's almost revolutionary because it's so simple. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the people now, um, the 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 public of Heartstopper or Hero is very young. Yeah. Because we need this reparation, right? Yeah. Yes. That is, I wish I could have seen that when I was 12 or 13. Exactly. To reassure me that that it's okay. Mm. To so see Olivia Coleman tell me that it's okay. <laughs> that would have been the ultimate goal. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a great yeah. moment. So, you maybe now uh, skip mm -hmm. Ange for Angelo to the 10 or 12 years? Yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. that little little guy is always with, with me on, on my shoulder. Yeah. Oh. It's like trying to make up for it. Mm. So this is now in the future? Sorry? This is now in your future? Um, more films? A second book? Um, 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 it's almost ready. Yeah. In, in Dutch. So it will take a while for it to be translated and so on. Uh, but yeah, I'll just... I'll keep on writing and I'll keep on telling stories, I think. And so you're back to Mexico from conocer or meet to the real Mexico with time? Uh, if, if Mexico invites me back, I'll definitely be back, yes. Okay. Yeah. With tequila and mariachi, right? And tacos? Uh, mezcal. 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 Yes. yes. Oh, so, so you, you, you know more about talk of Mexico. If you know the difference of mezcal or tequila, you are a great tester. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, see you in the future. Yes, please. With time, be back in Mexico. I will. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> and, bueno, la, la invitación está para que ustedes eh, lean en los bordes y, por supuesto, que busquen su plataforma favorita close porque pues en el marco de esta feria internacional de libros se presentó en la cineteca pero está en las plataformas si mal no recuerdo está en movie so do, do, yeah. do you, in, in movie right yes movie está en movie y la pueden ver en, la, en el idioma que ustedes quieran para que no sufran lo que yo sufrí y gocé esta entrevista muchas gracias Angelo thank you nice thank to you meet so you much. yes indeed y nosotros continuamos aquí en Inspiratex de las redes de Canal 44 eh, encantados de tener a Angelo. Ah, pero perdón, ya me acordé. Tengo que hacer... Esto lo estamos grabando justamente el día primero de diciembre. El día primero de diciembre se conmemora el Día Mundial del SIDA, así se le llamaba antes. Ahora se le llama el Día Mundial de la Lucha contra el SIDA. Yo trabajé en este periódico haciendo la portada y la página 3 durante seis años que era en su, en su momento público milenio, se convirtió en milenio Jalisco y ahora es solamente milenio Jalisco. Ahora vuelvo a aparecer en la portada, gracias a Manuel Baeza, que me invita, y la magia sucede porque aparezco con un artículo sobre cómo es vivir con VIH en la página 3. Justamente las dos páginas que yo hacía del periódico durante seis años, que ahora, gracias a la invitación de Manuel, y por eso lo quiero mostrar públicamente, pues vuelve a ser mi casa, aunque sea por un día. Así que muchas gracias Manuel, muchas gracias Milenio Jalisco y a ustedes, no tengo miedo de decirlo, aquí les cuento la historia de lo que es vivir con mi bichito y de por qué hoy que tenemos todas las herramientas y toda la información hay que estarnos haciendo la prueba del VIH cada tres meses al menos si tenemos una vida sexual activa y recurrir a mecanismos de prevención como el PrEP, el PEP y por supuesto el uso del condón y el sexo seguro y o el uso de antirretrovirales para no contagiar a nuestras parejas sexuales. Así que ahí está la invitación. Hoy que es primero de diciembre, gracias Manuel, gracias Milenio y ustedes pues aprovechen la información que hoy está más que disponible. Ahora sí, gracias, hasta la próxima, pásenla bien.